Mike McNamara with the McNamaraReport.com and today I'd like to show you a test between five affordable all-in-one office inkjet printers from Brother, Canon, Epson, HP, and Lexmark. These are all ideal devices for the small office or home office because they allow you to print, scan, copy, fax, even make 4x6 glossy photos directly from your memory cards. But putting all these features into such a small footprint isn't really an advantage if printing speed suffers in the process. So to find out which of these devices was the fastest office printer, I decided to send them the same four-page document from the ISO standard developed in 2009. With this standard and this four-page document, I leveled the playing field so you'll see which of these printers is really the fastest. And in the same video test, I show you some comparisons between font sharpness, image quality, and moisture resistance because you never know when you're going to need a device like this to print up flyers to post outdoors. The proof is in the printing, and it's never been truer than in this case. Watch the following video and find out for yourself which one is the best printer. The printers are all loaded and at the beep, they're off. Within seconds, each printer shows that it's received a file from the PC by either lighting up its LCD monitor or loading paper. But it's the Epson Work 4610 that pops out the first print in just 11 seconds. It's actually on its second print before any of the other printers even show a paper coming out. Next one in line is Lexmark. Looks like it's going to be in second place, but hey, it's early in the test. Right behind it, HP, popping out the last page first, which is due to its default settings. The Canon also pops the last page out first, and is finally doing so while the Epson finishes off its four pages in 36 seconds, the clear-cut winner in this race. Note that the brother has yet to even print one page from the document, while it looks like Lexmark and HP are vying for that second place position. Canon, on the other hand, may have gotten a slow start, but it's already popped out that second page, and HP pulls ahead of the Lexmark, winning second place at 54 seconds. The big news now is brother finally pops out its first print, followed closely behind by Canon on its third page. Looks like the Lexmark is struggling on page four, a highly intensive graphics page. Meanwhile, Canon appears to be the third place winner at 73 seconds. Lexmark is still working on that fourth page, and the brother is still working on its second page, while the Lexmark finishes its fourth page at 86 seconds. Rather than wait for the brother to finish its print job, let's take a look at some of the performance aspects of these printers. Close-ups on the font from the brother show very light blacks. It's a light contrast font, hard to read, with a little rough edges too. The Canon has very good contrast, a little overspray around, but very good numbers to read. The Epson, very solid blacks, good contrast, a little rough around the edges, but easy to read fonts. The HP shows medium contrast with lots of overspray around the numbers. Makes it harder to read them. The Lexmark, very solid blacks, good form, probably the best fonts in the bunch. Scans of a Macbeth color checker show that the Brother has the lowest saturation and lowest contrast across the board. It's probably due to the low density in the blacks. Canon shows the best saturation and contrast overall, but has a slightly cool neutral grayscale. Epson shows good color saturation, good contrast, and very good blacks. HP has lower contrast and lower saturation, and a green that's off. While Lexmark has a purple that's off, looks like a blue, otherwise has good saturation and contrast. A 4x6 photo print from the Brother shows low contrast and low color saturation. While the Canon shows the best photo quality overall, very good color saturation and detail in the shadows. Close behind it are prints from the Epson, which shows great color saturation and good detail in the shadows. After taking some time to dry, the HP prints came out with a mottled surface and not great color saturation. While the Lexmark had so-so color saturation and a slightly green cast to the print. To determine which printer produced a print that would last outdoors or under a spilled cup of water, I sprayed these charts for several minutes, let them dry, and then peeled them from their backing. Generally, pigmented inks resist moisture better than dye inks, and some of these printers use a combination of both. The Brother, Canon, and HP use mostly dye-based inks, and those inks run and bleed through the paper. As you'll see, the Brother has some color, Canon has lots of color bleed through, Epson, no color at all, pigmented inks, HP, some colors coming through, and the Lexmark, all clean. That leaves us just enough time to watch the Brother finish up in 3 minutes and 31 seconds. There you have it. The proof is in the printing. And in this case, the Epson Workforce 610 showed that it was by far the fastest of the printers in this bunch. It also has very good image quality and high moisture resistance. 
I'd have to give second place to Canon's MX860. It had the best image quality on plain paper and on photo paper. However, it doesn't have moisture resistant inks. There's a lot of information in this test, so if you want to find out more about how I set up the tests and the procedures I used, go to the full report at themacnamarareport.com.